stories. It is now fully evident to me that in the realm of our personal lives, right, it is like a battle. It is a war. It is life and death for us. In some cases, you can really die. But in most cases, you can lose 10 years of your life. 20 years of your life, right? The prime of your life, your health, your youth, your strength, your vitality. You can have that all just sheared away from you and destroyed. And then you're told to continually pay. I see that in these stories. I hear it in the vocabulary you guys use to describe what's going on. You know. This channel has changed me in a very powerful way doing this. And I've been doing it for what, almost a year? I guess it's almost a year. Since last December or something like that. You know, and there's close to 20,000 subscribers in less than a year. You know, that says something about the message. It says something about the state of our world, the state of relationships, the state of the legal system, the political system, the educational system. All the things I talk about, the success of this channel speaks volumes about the threats we have out there. Right? And all the other MIG channels as well that are growing and coming on board. Right? I wish I had the time to sit down with everyone and just have a drink and go, hey man, you know, wow. You know, cheers, holy shit. Right? But I don't have that kind of time. None of you guys do. None of us do. Thankfully, we have YouTube, we have social media to do this, to get the word out. You know, you know, what would you say? What would you say if you came home at the end of the day and you had an hour to yourself, right? Hour of free time. And you sat down and you looked at personal emails you got from people. By personal, I mean personalized. Where someone pours their heart out to you. Bears their soul. You know, that's the type of weight I feel on my shoulders when I get emails or I get comments or I get private messages sent to me. I know every one of you guys wants your story to be told to help others, but also to get it off of your chest, right? To get it out of there, to get the pain out. A lot of my videos, I get the pain out, right? I talk about it and I cleanse myself that way. I know you guys are doing the same, and I wish I had the time to respond to every story or to read every story in video form to illustrate its lesson to other men. I never thought this was going to go this way. I thought it would be fun to put a few things out there and maybe walk away from it. You know, but it's a big deal to me. I see myself as just a regular guy. Just a regular guy. You know, I don't see myself as some highly educated, articulate, scholarly guy. I'm no Jordan Peterson who can stand up and use flowery words all day and talk people down an alley and then leave them in the dark with some fancy, uh, you know, fancy concept that they can't fathom. I'm just a regular guy. I can use some $5 words and I enjoy doing it and I can string together some good sentences and that's fun. But I like to use plain language that anyone can understand. Whether you're some punk kid coming out of high school or some old fuck like me. Right? We're all just men. And I prefer plain language on a serious subject like this. And that's how you guys write to me. I don't get a lot of fancy writing. I get a lot of real plain, real basic stories. This is how it is, man. And that's how it hits me right in the chest. Right, bam, like a punch to the chest. These stories just fucking kong me. 
you know, and I don't share them unless uh, typically I get permission or I know I can tell the story in such a way that no one's exposed. I try and do that, right? I don't let other people read these. No one else has access to this. It's very private. Very private to the world of MGTOW and men. You know, I never expected this to have this kind of impact. And to know that in another couple years, this very channel, if YouTube doesn't kill us all together, and the other MGTOW channels could have millions of subscribers, and hundreds and thousands, if not millions of views a day by other men. And what do these channels do? Really, what do they do? Why are they such a threat? Well, we talk about a subject that YouTube calls controversial. That the average Joe American six-pack brainwashed knucklehead, you know, thinks is a dangerous topic. But we're not throwing out some Alice in Wonderland fairy tale bullshit here. This is the way it is. These are the facts. We can dispute them, and I, I actually enjoy disputing. Well, you know, uh, what is the actual divorce rate? Is it 60%? Or is it 80%? Or is it 75 And what the hell is the difference? What's the difference whether it's 60 out of 100 men are destroyed or 80 out of 100 men are destroyed? The fact is that men are being destroyed and how do they do it? By a system. Is it indisputable or not? Let's dispute it. Right? Dispute. What are we arguing about? Do the courts act like a tool used by women to destroy men? Yeah, that's a fact. Based on the numbers. It cannot be denied. I'm sure there are plenty of women out there victimized and destroyed also, but that's not what this channel is about. This is about men's lives. This isn't about a bad weekend. Right? This isn't about getting taken advantage of on a holiday. This is about a man's life being destroyed, and it happens all the time. These stories I have, some of them are heartbreaking to read. Now why would someone write me a story like that? To gain sympathy? Really, what, what did they have to gain? Right? Key bono. What do they gain? Right? We know who would gain, they do. Right? Qua bono. Whatever the, the, the Latin is. Who benefits? How do they benefit? Why would they benefit from writing a story like this? Well, I don't, I don't write back and say, gee man, I feel really sorry for you. You know, oh, I'm really sorry. You know, boy, boy. You know, are they looking for sympathy? Right? I'm, I don't, I don't send people a bottle of scotch. Gee, man. You know, sorry that happened to you. There you go. I don't do that. Right? I can't do that. <laughs> right? So, I could believe that maybe one or two of these stories are bullshit. Right? Someone looking for sympathy. But when you get the order of dozens of them, and then hundreds of them, and I'm sure to in total there are thousands and thousands of men's stories that have been shared on here in the comments, in the private messages, through PayPal, through Patreon I've gotten messages, stories. And not everyone says, hey, I want you to read my story. Right? Some people just say, man, you got to hear this. Thank you for helping me, John. Thank you for letting me know. I'm not the only one out here. I now realize I'm not crazy. Right? I'm not the lone wolf anymore. Thanks to MGTOW. There are so many ways, guys, that MGTOW has helped other men. Because now they realize they're not alone. Now they realize they're no longer a victim on an individual basis. But there's a system designed, engineered, and implemented that it seeks to destroy men and there is now help 
these MGTOW channels, mine and others, are here to help to talk about how this system works.